look at uh, 2 Timothy at chapter 2. 2 Timothy chapter 2, Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men. You shall be able to teach others also. You like something to read? Now therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. And if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned, except he strive lawfully. The husbandman that laboreth uh, must first be first partaker of the fruits, Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead, according to my gospel, wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even unto bonds, but the word of God is not bound. So even though Paul was in, in jail at, at uh, certain times, the word of God is not bound. The word of God still goes out. People still preach concerning the Lord Jesus Christ and the way of salvation through faith alone in the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, uh, I endure all things for the elect's sake that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we believe not, yet he abideth faithful, he cannot deny himself. Of these things put to them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord, that they strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of the, of the hearers. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. This is Paul's uh, epistle, Paul's letter unto a young man called Timothy. He was a believer, and obviously so was Paul. But we need to understand these things were written to a young believer in Christ. Someone who would come to Christ for their salvation. I wonder, have you come to Christ for your salvation? That's the only way you're going to get saved. The only way you're going to be in heaven is through the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm here to tell you the only way of salvation is through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, the one who died on the cross and shed his precious blood for you and for me. Uh, yeah, if we believe not, yet he abideth faithful, he cannot deny himself. Of these things put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord, that they strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of the hearers. Study to show thyself approved unto God, not unto men, but unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the, uh, the word of truth. But shame for vain, uh, profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. And their word will eat as doth a canker, and that's basically like cancer, of whom is Hymenaeus and Philetus, who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already, and overflow the faith of some. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his, and that every one that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honour and some to dishonour. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honour, sanctified or set apart and meet for the master's use, or fit for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. Flee also youthful lusts, that's uh, youthful strong desires, 
that follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace, within that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do gender strives, and the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, in meekness instructing those that oppose themselves, if God peradventure perhaps will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by him at his will. Second Timothy in chapter 3. This, uh, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. That's, that means dangerous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, trainy, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Do those things describe you, my friend? If they do, you are probably on your way down to hell. See, if you haven't believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, you are on your way down to hell. And this is the crowning sin. The worst sin that we can ever commit is rejecting Jesus Christ. In other words, not believing on the Lord Jesus Christ for our eternal salvation. You see, you and I need forgiveness for our sins. If we don't receive that forgiveness, we'll be in hell at the moment of death. God does not want that for you. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Yes, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. For of this sort uh, are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts or different strong desires, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now as Janice and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men as theirs also was. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, my manner of life, or sorry, but thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, uh, afflictions which came upon me at Antioch and Iconium and Lystra, what persecutions I endured, but out of them uh, all the Lord delivered me. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation, through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, Thoroughly or thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Second uh, Timothy chapter four. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead, and his appearing and his kingdom. Now the Lord Jesus Christ will judge the living, that's what it means, the living and the dead at his appearing. I wonder, are you facing the judgment of God? Now, if you're not saved, if you're not a child of God, you are facing the judgment of God. The Lord Jesus Christ wants to be your saviour this afternoon, my friend. But he can only be your saviour if you believe upon him, if you receive him as your saviour. We need a saviour. And the only saviour for us poor sinners when we're born in this world 
is the Lord Jesus Christ. Acts 4.12 plainly says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. You must be saved if you ever hope to enter into heaven. You cannot be in heaven apart from the Lord Jesus Christ. Preach the word. Be instant. In season and out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall heap shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. They want to they wanna have their ears tickled. They don't want to hear the truth. Preach to us something that we want to hear, something smooth, something nice to hear. A good message, something that's going to make me feel good. I'm here to tell you this afternoon, I'm not here to do that for you, because I'm here to tell you that we are sinners in the sight of the Lord when we're born in this world. We need salvation, we need forgiveness for those sins. And if you feel bad, if you feel guilty, that's great, that's what God wants. God wants to bring you under the conviction of the Holy Spirit that you may understand that you were guilty, hell-deserving sinner the, the same way as I was once upon a time. When we're born in this world, we're born as sinners. We're heading down to hell by default. God does not want that for you. And that's why we read, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Have you believed on the Lord Jesus Christ? In other words, are you a child of God? For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. So if you want to become a child of God, if you want to be in heaven, if you want to be at peace with God, have everlasting life for all of eternity in that wonderful place called heaven, you'll have to come to God through the Lord Jesus Christ. Now make no mistake about it, the Lord Jesus Christ is God. He's God manifest in the flesh. One of his titles is Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. To think that God came down in the person of Christ to live the perfect life upon earth that you and I could never ever live and then die the once for all sacrificial death upon the cross and shed his precious blood for you and for me so that you and I could receive forgiveness for our sins. There is absolutely no other way of forgiveness apart from the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why the Bible says, He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God has not life. You say you've already got life. Yeah, you're right. You've got physical life, but you need spiritual and eternal life that can only come through faith in Jesus Christ alone. You've got to rely upon the Lord Jesus Christ for your eternal salvation. The Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the way, not a way, the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry, for I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them, also that love is appearing. Do thy diligence to come shortly unto me, for Demas hath forsaken me, having loved this present world, and is departed unto Thessalonica, Crescens to Galatia, Titus unto Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me, take Mark, and bring him with thee, for he is profitable to me for the ministry. And Tychicus have I sent to Ephesus, 